Today, for Fossil Friday, we're in the museum. It's closed, it's dark, but our icons are waiting for you. Today, we speak about these two animals. What are these two animals? Are they giant sloth, like many of you may think they are? Are they sorts of gorillas, because they also do the knuckle walking like gorillas do? But in this case, why are they presented here and not over there by the evolution of men or evolution of great apes? We're going to the collections to learn more about these animals. Teeth don't lie. With teeth, you can recognize pretty quickly the affinities of an animal, to which family it belongs, for instance. And teeth of our big guys are preserved in large quantities here in our collection. And on top of that, they're also common in the Swiss fossil record, like here in this locality from the Canton Jura. Let's have a look what this tooth can tell us about the animal. The upper molar of our animal looks very different from that of a sloth. It's more complex, right? Sloth teeth are quite simple and oval shaped. They don't have all the complex features on the surface. If I compare our tooth with, to those of a rhino or a horse, I see right away that they are common features. Look at this P form, yes, from the Greek P letter. It's there everywhere on all three teeth. And it's typical for this group known as perisodactyls, the group of horses and rhinos, but also of tapirs. Our animal is a close parent to the horses. Can you believe this? Its name is Calicotherium. In Greek, calico means gravel and therium means beast. That's the beast of the gravels because the first fossils of Calicotherium were found in gravel pits. Calicotherium is best known for its claw-like hooves. It's a perisodactyl, it had hooves, and the hooves are claw-like. Um, the claws are not preserved, or the hooves are not preserved in a fossil, but on the last finger bone, you can recognize here this nice groove, you can see this nice groove where the claw-like hoof was inserted. Calicotherium was a herbivore, and it used its claws and its long and musculous arms to grab branches and fruits. This fantastic animal lived between 28 and 4 million years. It was pretty common also in Switzerland. We still don't really know why it went extinct. Ciao!